Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is a double daily dose because we had a Disney video earlier today. Yeah. Well, more bad news for people that work for Disney. Um, apparently. Yeah, so Disney is going to close all the stores in Canada and most of their stores in the US. Now, we already knew that there was a whole list of stores being closed. This is not new news, except for the fact that now all the stores in Canada are getting shut down as opposed to just, you know, some. Yeah, so it does seem like they are shifting their retail strategy to the Disney store. They um, said this. They said when they did that direct-to-consumer and all that shifting and stuff then, they said part of the, the hiring they were doing was for, you know, like the online sales of Shop mm -hmm. Disney. And they're also doing these, these mini stores in Target. They yeah. tried it out uh, a couple of years ago, and now they're going to focus on that. It's kind of like what Toys R Us they, they, they was doing. I was thinking that's a TRU maneuver, which we actually uh, had had good friends that and family that worked for Toys R Us when they did that. And they basically did it to, to shed the employees and mm -hmm. the buildings that they uh, and all that and then they turn around and they're like yep we're going we're coming back guys but we're going to be way smaller it's, yeah where i was thinking like spirit halloween it's yeah. like that you just get a small you, you run a space as you need it as opposed to having all the overhead so i think that's more to do with it than anything but it's about saving money um if they have hired more to streamline their their online shop disney experience uh that's news to me because it still sucks um but anyway Anyway, we're going to talk about that. We talk a lot about Disney having worked in and around the company in various capacities over the years. Uh, we do watch Disney quite a bit. Uh, if you go to piratesandprincesses.net, that mm -hmm. is a blog where there's lots of Disney news out there. Uh, some hot takes on Disney. Uh, but yeah, been kind of watching this situation uh, with the Disney store. And, you know, Disney has relied more heavily on retail during the pandemic because, you know, they got to make well, money. online, there. their Shop Disney, because the stores are closed. Yeah. Um, but they've really been pushing Shop Disney, Shop mm -hmm. Disney, Shop Disney. Now, uh, you've had many, many interesting experiences with mm -hmm. Shop Disney online. It does not work as well as it should. No. Uh, I'm still p p pissed about the other day. Yeah, a lot of times they'll they'll make an announcement about a new product coming out, and then they usually drop the ball when it mm -hmm. comes to getting said product, and they seem to let uh, people with bots, shopping bots, come in mm -hmm. and buy everything. And they're the all over door. the place too. They keep changing that. We'll talk about that in a minute, though. But before we get into it, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over one hundred eighty-six thousand subs. Woo uh, thank you for the support, and go out to piratesandprincesses.net if you want more objective Disney news. That's where you're going to find it because a lot of these blogs, they want free cupcakes from Disney so they don't tell you the truth. Uh, they just want to sell you a trip. Yeah. <laughs> so, a lot of them do, yeah. But book a trip here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we knew they were closing uh, some stores. Uh, now apparently all the stores in Canada are getting shut down over this retail strategy shift, which I, I, as I explained is basically we're going to hire a bunch of people, we'll put mo most of our focus on the Shop Disney site, which many of you, if you've shopped on the Shop Disney site, know what a shit show that is. And with all that money and, re and resources, you'd think they'd have fixed it by now. Yeah. And um, that and, and the Target, the, the new Target model. Yeah, because why, I mean, from their point of view, they're probably like, you know, we don't have the overhead of just shipping the stuff out. The store, they're probably making more profit, you mm -hmm. know, obviously. Um, and that is the way that a lot of things are going, unfortunately, is that, uh, you know, you know, e-shopping, online retail seems to be eclipsing, uh, you know, the in-person experience, especially during the pandemic. And I think the pandemic is going to be used in a lot of cases to make decisions or justify decisions that might have been a long time coming right right um now the disney store the thing about that is i love the disney store i was so mad oh my gosh it was like 20 years ago or so yeah. they shut a whole bunch of them down then so this is not the first time they have shuttered a bunch of stores that happened a, you know a while back they closed a whole mess of them i know the ones by us got shut down um the only one that i can think of that was close enough was the one that was in an outlet mall by my sister <laughs> so where she used to live and and it was the outlet store but they've been shutting these down um right and left lately and now there's a bunch more getting shuttered yeah so this is coming from retail insider uh we picked it up from another another blog that said multiple sources have informed a retail insider that u.s-based mass media and entertainment conglomerate disney will be shutting almost all of its standalone retail stores, including all uh, 18 locations in Canada. I'm thinking it's going to wind up being 
like they'll have one in New York and L.A. and stuff like you know, maybe. But I don't know. I mean, they're keeping some open in North America. Well, they said that they're opening. Um, I, I read before that the, the airport was yeah. getting that it was keeping theirs. They have the new Disney one open at the well, airport. Well, so. okay, so th this is where it's a little bit different. I, I think the ones in the airport. Orlando Airport, by the way. Yeah, Orlando Airport, and I think LAX has one too. Uh, I don't know. We were there so exactly. quick. I don't remember. I, I just wanted to get out of there. I, yeah, no LAX offense, is, I hate LAX. LAX is like my least favorite airport. Yeah. Um, but Disney, uh, the the stuff they sell in those stores, it seems to be part of. I think there's a different. That merchandise seems to be the parks merchandise. Yeah, it seems like the park stuff. Yeah. Um, the Disney stores, like even stuff they have in the the Disney retail stores, some of it's park stuff. A lot of it isn't. It seems like they have different. Well, it's like the stuff. shop Disney stuff. There's stuff that yeah. you can get on shop Disney you can't get in the parks, and vice versa. You know, so. Yeah, because there is different stuff. It's like you you don't go to a Disney store and find a bunch of usually, if my my experience, find a bunch of uh, Disney parks merch. I think anymore though they they do do it. Like I know when they did like. The the Minnie Mouse the main attraction, which was a cluster and a half. Yeah. Um, they had them in the stores too, and then they didn't have them in the stores, and they brought them back to the stores. And they had dolls and stuff at the stores. So sometimes you could get the same stuff, but um, and they had it at the parks too. But it's just been, uh, I think like when they did the release for the uh, Harveys, which is what I was trying to get the other day. I was yeah. trying to get the one bag that was the Harveys bag. And I don't usually buy those, but I wanted to get the one. And um, here's where it's getting it's getting frustrating for people. So Shop Disney kept dropping the ball because of scalpers. So what they did was they, they initiated this waiting room bullshit. So you had to go into waiting room and sit there and then, you know, until they released you from the waiting room and then you could go buy something if there was something left. Well, the problem they're having was the app was letting people in and they were grabbing everything before it even opened in the, in, on the Shop Disney site. So they had taken that and stopped letting things that were new releases be on the app. So you had to go to the Shop Disney site to try to make it more fair. Well, when the Harveys came out, apparently they undid that. So everything was on the app and already out the door and sold out before the website even got it. So you never know where the hell to even go with Shop Disney because they're so all over the damn place. You know, something like that. Th this is what Disney could do. They could take a cue from crowdfunding. And for something that's going to be high demand like that, do pre-orders. But well, they don't want to do that because they want to keep it limited. Well, just say, yeah. I mean... I don't know. There's got to be a, a better a better way to do it, or at least you know give people an idea of make it harder for you to buy more than one, like one. Well, they said that they had set up that you're only allowed like a one per email address or two per address. But people, what people were doing was with the Minnie Mouse Man attraction, they were using multiple accounts, buying several of the items and getting and winning the the the, the lottery for several of the items. And then what they turned around and did then because they're only allowed to buy one, they would put up a sale on. Etsy or not mm -hmm. eBay on eBay and they would say like, okay, you pay me the price of the item for the, for the link to my account to go buy that item and have for the same price again and have it sent to your address. Mm -hmm. So basically for the same price as the item, you had to pay them that price for the honor of using their, their lottery win. Cause they had a thing where you had, you had to get chosen. Yeah. It was like a raffle. Yeah. Uh, to even have the option to buy. So they would get these options to buy, and then you had to pay them the full price of the item to access their their link to buy it. They'll give you their email address they used, and then you could pay a full price again for the item to be sent to your house. So that's how they were getting around the fact that only two per address. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's a big long... It's uh, a well, anyway, they're not telling the staff that they're going to be out of work. They they're said, not telling the staff? Yeah, they said uh, store staff have not been notified officially of the Disney store closures according to the sources, uh, which means that this article brings with it the unfortunate news requiring action. Landlords said they were not permitted to comment on the record uh, for this story. Well, that's a little weird, um, isn't it? Yeah, they said all Canadian stores will be shuttered by the end of the summer, with one source stating a date of August 1st had been set for at least one store in o Ontario, and they're having discussions. A lot of people want to get out of there by July. Well, I think they said Disney was going to pay out the leases or something. Yeah. Oh, hey, I was right. Uh, one source noted in the United States, Disney is expected to keep a handful of stores open, yep. including the one in Times Square. Uh, we saw this happen with uh, like FAO Schwartz and stuff mm -hmm. where they keep like the flagship open, Macy's even. Like they keep Macy's, Macy's open, but like all the other Macy's are closing down. Uh, over the weekend, word began getting out on several U.S. stores that will shutter and we're told that there will be many more. Our sources based in Canada were otherwise unable to confirm uh, anything going on you know, within so we don't the know. There's, not, there's no confirmation is what you're saying. Yeah, there's no confirmation, but they're basically saying that there are only going to be a handful of Disney stores left when it's all said and done.
Uh, yeah, because they're switching it so they want everybody to go online and shop and shop Disney and that lovely experience. Or uh, those, these Target pop-ups. They're doing yeah. Target stores, these little Disney, mini Disney stores inside of Targets. Well, here, here's the thing, too, is a lot, a lot of these stores are in malls, and, and malls aren't doing well. Mm -mm. You know, you don't see many standalone. I've seen a couple. I've seen Disney stores in, like, outlet malls. That's what I'm saying. Disney yeah. outlet mall is the, one, the only one I've been to in the, like, last 10 years. But Now, this happened with the Warner Brothers store, too. Like, we used to always go the one. There was one here, and uh, Altoona, PA, had one. Was it Altoona? I think it was Altoona. Because I know the Disney store was over in Monroeville. Yeah. Was it, I thought it was in Monroeville. Might have been Monroeville. Well, no, I was talking about the Warner Brothers store. Yeah, I think the Warner Brothers okay, store. Okay, maybe they had one there, there too. too. They, they had them, though. I remember they had them all over the place, and then they just disappeared. You know, they're just gone. Um, because, again, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have all these retail outlets when you actually can pocket more money. You know, just selling to people directly, mm -hmm. and and that's what's going on. So I uh, feel feel very badly for the people working there. Um, yeah, once again, a bunch of people are going to lose their jobs. Yeah. Uh, this is, this is you know, where we're at right now and where Disney's at. And they're going to cut every quarter they can cut and uh, maximize their profits. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. so. They're a corporation first. Absolutely. So we're going to wrap this one up? Yep. Okay, so please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.